Okay, we're going to do a hack on a Sony W5. The hack is the same with a W5 and a W7. They're pretty much the same camera except for the megapixels higher on a W7. Uh, we got four screws to take to get the back off. Start up here of the, above the USB. And we'll remove that screw. We just want to take the back off. We'll leave these two alone for now. And we'll take this top one off. And the one next to the battery cover at the top. And the one by the strap handle. And I'm going to pull the back off. And just wiggle it off, and it'll come right off here for you. Next, we want to pull off. This is the LCD power ribbon. I'm going to pull it off. Then we want to take the two screws to hold this board on. So remove those two. I'll flip him out of the way. And we'll take the LCD, and this is hooked on with two little tabs, one here and one there, and one there. We'll wiggle that and it'll pop right over, and we're just going to lay that off back. Two screws holds this back piece on. We'll take it off, take those two screws off. And then we can just pull this right off. Then we can take this plastic piece off. It's not screwed down, it'll just pop right up. Keep your fingers away from the top. Now we want to avoid this area right here. This is our flash capacitor. If we touch that, it's going to hurt. Okay, what I usually do is I'll take a piece of electrical tape and set it right there so I don't bump it. Um, you poke a hole through that, it's going to zap you. But it'll keep me from doing something bad to the board. I don't want to short it out. Okay, I'm come, I already marked these with a pen, but this is what I want to do. I'm going to come over three from the top. I want three, come down three down and mark it. And I'm going to come all the way down this last one and mark this one with my pen. Now I'm going to take a precision screwdriver, I think it's the smallest one I can get, and I'm going to scrape right where I just got done marking with a pen. And I'm going to scrape down to the, to, to the clear metal tab. And I'm going to do this, and I only want to go about halfway, I don't want to go all the way up because that will split the connector and give us problems. So when I see that metal showing, I'm good. Same with down here, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to scrape. until I get down. Now this one's a little shorter. Um, we don't need to get in there really far. We're just going to stick the wire in there. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, resin soldering flux I get from Radio Shack. And I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my screwdriver. I'm going to put a little bit right where I'm going to solder. Because I don't want to solder directly to that block because it's, it's very sensitive. Uh, if I solder to it I can melt the solder down in the block or warp the block or she at work the block or melt the block so this way I can keep the minimum amount of heat on that block as possible okay I want to peel back a little bit of insulation kind of twist my wires so I'm going to tin my wire that I'm going to use for my hack I'll do the same thing with my yellow or any color you want to use Tenant. Okay, just lay your wire in that little groove that we just scratched. This will be our shutter. And just lay your iron on there. And 
as you get a little bit of the yank, make sure it takes. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with my power. Lay it on there so you see it melt, pull my iron off. I want to keep, I don't want to put a lot of heat on that. I want to be very careful about that. 